Hey guys, Moan Pobero here and today we're going to talk about how to do the things that you're afraid to do. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pobero and I'm here to share and document my journey, being involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years. I'm here to share with you what worked, what didn't work, what made a lot of money, what lost a lot of money so you won't make the same mistakes. And I'm here to basically show you that you can buy existing businesses, you can grow your business by buying other businesses and to share with you the process of what worked and show you that there's another way to grow a business other than just organic ways by doing more sales and marketing. And this is what this channel is all about. So like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification button because I'm posting daily and go to moanpobera.com forward slash quiz if you want to see other ways of working with us and getting free value that i'm not posting on youtube so that's it for um, the introduction let's get to the topic so how do you do things that you're afraid of and people might tell you um you shouldn't do things that you're afraid of or you always need to do things that you're afraid of or why you even need to do things that you're afraid of people will ask me is it even necessary to be successful to get forward in life and there are a few different thoughts about it and some people might tell you hey that's the only way to grow you gotta do things that you're afraid of every day other pe people might tell you hey just follow your feeling and just go with what feels good right and there's are all those different thoughts all day all day long and you don't know who to listen to and let me tell you what what works for me and what i found out that in my opinion you need to follow uh, based on where you'll be in life where you want to be in life so let's start with the business side of things, right? In my opinion, to be successful in business and to achieve something that you never did before, to be to buy a seven-figure business or to grow your business to an eight or nine-figure business, you gotta do things that you never did before, which means you're gonna do things that are outside your comfort zone. And when are you you're doing things that are outside your comfort zone, you're gonna do things that you're afraid of and you're gonna be, you're gonna get punched in the face and you gotta be aware and be okay with getting punched in the in the face and unless you're okay with that it's gonna be really really hard to move forward on things i mean i don't know any successful business person who didn't have failures who didn't have literally emotional roller coaster going for him and unless you're expecting that and be really literally aware of that and okay with that it's gonna be really hard for you to move forward so that's the first assumption, guys. You gotta understand that you're gonna get punched. And when you have that assumption, like literally every day, unless I'm getting punched in whatever I'm doing in business, I feel like I'm not progressing enough. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing what only whatever feels good to you. If whatever you're doing right now in life is basically, you, you can say you're okay with it, but then I don't really believe in that because I think that our purpose here is to evolve and grow as a spirit, as a human being. And unless you're doing things that are new to you, um, it's gonna be really hard to grow. And I don't think that our nature as human beings is to stay stagnant and be the same. I think that's our purpose here in life, literally to go out there and grow and become a better person and literally grow as a soul here. And uh, to do that, you gotta do things that are new to you and things that you're afraid of. And you're gonna get punched, that's part of the process. But whenever you have that basic assumption that you're gonna get punched, it's gonna be much easier for you to get punched because whenever you get punched, you're like, oh, okay, I, I expected that. Now let's get up, let's wake, let's get up again and again and again and again. And those who get up again and again and basically get up more than everyone else, those are the ones who are most successful. Like when I meet right now people who are some of my mentors, the only reason for them to be more successful than me right now is they just did more, they failed more, and they learned and adjusted faster than me. That's it. They had better mentors and they had this hunger to wake up and basically get up of the struggle of the getting punched um, basically faster than anyone else. And whenever you have that, that's the fastest way for you to go and overcome your fears and basically get the results that you want. Now, I think the only way for you to really be able to get up after you're getting punched is to have a purpose that is bigger than just your selfish reasons. It's got to be a purpose to serve and help other people. And only when you have that, you are really able to wake up and be able to get punched again and again, because you understand your purpose is much bigger than just you getting punched. I mean, getting punched is like, it's okay, it's part of the process. But whenever you have this hunger to drive and drive to and purpose to get up and do those things again and again, that's when you're able to eventually overcome those challenges and uh, get the results. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not easy to get up after you're getting punched again and again and again. Like, And it's more about, and I'm talking getting punched, I'm talking literally about the emotional, it's more about the emotional game here, like business, and I think everything in life, it's more in internal 
uh, game and path other than outside path. And it comes down to your self-esteem, really. And unless you are really strong with yourself and work hard to build your self-esteem, it's going to be really hard to go through those struggles. And that's why people give up. They just get punched once and then they're like, okay, you know what? I'm done. Uh, I don't want that. It's too difficult. And whenever you have that thought, I mean, it's going to be really hard to, to go out there and be successful. You got to be able to trust your gut and trust yourself and have that self-esteem that no matter how many times I'm going to get punched, I'm going to wake up and get up again and again and again and enjoy the process. You need to get to a point where you're enjoying failing. It's part of the process and you need to understand that's just part of life. Like being successful or getting a specific result, that's, that's not all, all that life got to offer. Like the, I think the coolest thing about life is the emotional roller coaster. It's the ups, the downs. That's what makes a good story in this life. And that's what's going to make your life unique based on your unique story and your unique, I guess, opportunities and challenges and results and failures. And you got to learn to enjoy everything and not be or try to stay away as much as you can from the emotional attachment to the ups and downs. Because again, I don't care where you are or who you are, you're going to have the ups and downs. And it's part of the process. You got to accept that and learn to enjoy it. And this is my, uh, my suggestion to you here. So don't be afraid of doing things that you're afraid of because you get, you're going to get punched anyway. Even if you, I think that if you're, gonna, if you're not going to do anything and you're not going to do things that you're afraid of, you'll get punched anyway. So you rather go out there and at least do things toward your vision and purpose and, and bigger goals in life. And that's my suggestion here to you. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, see the links in the description below. Go to moanpaper.com forward slash quiz if you want to get more free value. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the notification button if you didn't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you soon.